Well, we've been warning about it for days now, and the biggest storm of the season is just hours away. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Thomas. I'm Laura Painter. The storm is bringing in low elevation snow and high winds, even blizzard warnings. Towns like Dutch Flat in the foothills have a high risk of losing power when the winds start up. But PG&E is getting ready for that risk tonight. ABC 10's Luke Clary is live as we speak. And Luke, I know you just spoke to PG&E. What are they saying about preparations? Yeah, well, that's right, Chris. PG&E says that its crews are preparing to reconnect the power wherever it goes out. And with the extreme conditions on the way, well, many communities can expect power outages will be very likely. In the Sierra foothills, peaceful towns like Dutch Flat are right in the path of a major winter storm, forecast to bring high winds and heavy snow. Come on. Let's go. The next 24 hours, a critical time for people to prepare. Things hit the fan and it's really difficult here. Ford Bechtel and Emma Grace Carter say the power goes out just about every winter. Just making sure you got the propane tanks, you know, lined up and that you, you know, ensured that you're ready to hunker down. This right here is an example of what you will see in foothills communities across the Sierra. This power pole has a large tree right next to it, its limbs extending over the power lines. A lot of tree caused power outages. Trees will get loaded up with snow and may topple over or branches may break off. PG&E spokesman Paul Moreno says crews have been pruning and removing hazardous trees. Still, we do urge customers to be prepared to be without power for a period of time. And have food and supply stock just in case there is power outages or things like that. This couple says they're ready for it. Many choose to live here for the serenity. The hardships of winter come with the territory. And so this is the time to get ready, right? Get your batteries charged, get your vehicles fueled up. Make sure that your generator is in safe working order if you have one. And another thing to keep in mind, if you do see a down power line somewhere in your community, do not approach it. Don't try to move it. You should always assume that down power lines are energized and extremely dangerous. Chris, Laura. Very important advice, Luke Clary, thank you. Let's take a live look over the capital city tonight. It's the calm before the storm. Monica, timing is everything with the storm. What can we expect? Tomorrow morning's commute, really not such a bad one. It's during the day that we start to th see things really ramp up with our winter storm severity index going up by Friday into the extreme zone, not to mention the snow load. As Luke was mentioning, snow on the trees could bring down a lot of those trees with widespread power outages. Such a different story tonight, though. Soda Springs along I-80, traffic moving smoothly. As we turn the page to tomorrow, though, we get into this blizzard warning. That takes us all the way through Sunday morning. You can see a big swath of the Sierra under that red there. Wind advisory in place for the northern and central part of the Sacramento Valley, where we'll see those peak wind gusts during the afternoon tomorrow. Focus on the Sierra, though. Not only will we have the snow, but look at this gusts over 50 miles per hour during the evening, right about the time we really start to see some of these snow totals going up as well. By the time all is said and done, five to 10 feet of snow at the highest elevations, one to four feet of snow between 3,000 and 5,000 feet. So this is a really cold storm, one that doesn't hold a ton of moisture for the valley, but a lot of snow for the Sierra. Cloud cover streaming in for tonight. Weather system just up to the north of us right now. And temperatures are quite comfortable in the 50s down low. 40s for the foothills and close to 40 for the Sierra. As I mentioned, the morning commute, not really a slick one out here. Just starting to see the first evidence of snow building in the Sierra. And that really starts to pick up right about 4 o'clock. We're just hours away, as you mentioned, from the biggest storm of the year. 